They are former players from the 1999 team. Dimitri Young and Pokey Reese will lead the Reds opening day parade. We also heard from Rick Walls from the Hall of Fame and Museum of the Reds. He said in 1999, that team was one of the best to not make the playoffs. The former players were part of a record for the most home runs in a game at nine. He also talked about the impact these two players have had on the organization and the fans. We always say once a red, always a red. And Young and Reese are great examples. They make regular appearances at Reds Fest, on our caravan, and many other activities, including this year being Reds Fantasy Camp coaches on the same team, and they won the championship in Goodyear, Arizona, just one month ago. So as we anxiously wait for March 28th and all the festivities, we know that Cincinnati baseball has been the thread that has been woven through this community together forever, for generations. And opening day has become one of the great traditions here in Cincinnati and is a superb example of how this city and baseball are intertwined. Again, Dimitri Young and Pokey Reese are the Grand Marshals of the Reds opening day parade at Finley Market. And we also heard from Neil Lucan here at Finley Market. He talked about the honorary Grand Marshal, Jim Scott, of course, a radio legend who is battling ALS. He said his health has taken some turns, but he is hopeful he will be in attendance for the parade on March 28th. We also heard some other stats for the parade, 17 high school bands three college bands, and we'll also see some other notable names from Cincinnati take part in the parade, like Kevin Huber and Marty Brenneman. And of course, we heard from the mayor of Cincinnati. He said it best when he said, no one does opening day like Cincinnati does. And as we mentioned, we're about a month away from that happening. Thanks for checking out Local 12's YouTube channel. Click the links and hit subscribe so you can be notified anytime we post new stories.